Hello, 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 and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. We're jumping straight into today's video. That's how we've been doing it around here lately. Um, we're gonna be doing some home projects. So most of these are pretty small. All of them you can be done within like 30 minutes of work. So they're super easy. This is a simple one. This one, I just got a new mattress. Um, it's more of like a protector, but it had a topper in it as well. I ordered this during like the Amazon Prime sale and it came in and I had been saving it to put it in a video to share with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it opened and get on the bed. But I had bought this prior to the Amazon Prime Day and put one on Savannah's bed and it is amazing. <laughs> it's such a great deal. I'll link it down below in my description box, but right now I'm just putting it on our guest bed. I had bought a foam topper in here about a month ago off. Um, it was either Amazon or Target and it was okay, but it wasn't great. But once I found this and Savannah was loving it, I knew I wanted to get one for my guests. I count that as a home update or home project anytime. Anytime you're improving your sleep, it's a win. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this old foam topper off and then get this new one put on. Chasing payment on my own. So like I was saying, this is a mattress protector, but it has the foam topper built in and it does say you can wash and dry it like normal. Obviously I haven't had to do that yet, so I'll definitely keep you updated, but I just thought it was a win because it's like a two for one. Not only is it protecting your mattress, but it's also nice and soft and gonna help you sleep better or your guests or your kids or whatever. But speaking of Amazon, I wanted to let you guys know that Chase has always had an Instagram account, but he's switching it to mainly all like Amazon deals and food chains. Basically any way he saves us money and how he has always done it. It's like a passion of his. He's gonna start sharing it with you. So I'm gonna leave that link down below in my description box. If you want an easy way to save money and you want somebody else to do the hard work for you, definitely click on that and go follow him. Um, he's gonna be sharing like which night kids eat free and coupon deals. You guys can go over there and ask him different products you're wanting coupons for and he can reach out and see if he can get you any. Anyways, it's just all based around deals and saving us money because that's what we all need to do. There's no reason to spend money that doesn't need to be spent. So if you need something like that in your life, click on that link down below. You are gone, that makes me blue. But here he comes to take me to I did decide to hang on to this and I just stuck it in the closet in that bedroom. I'm trying to decide if I should put it back on the bed and then put the mattress protector topper on top of it just to make it extra soft or is that too much? I don't know if I should double up or not. If not, I'll just pass it on to like a family member or friend. It is a king size, but remember if you have extra of these, they can just be cut down with scissors. So if you have your kid's bed you wanna put it on, it can be cut down to a twin, or if you have a queen, you can always cut those and you don't see them anyways. I mean, it won't be like the prettiest cutting ever, but you can cut it and then put your protector over it and then nobody sees it. And then it can live its life a little bit longer so it doesn't get trashed or anything like that. Now we're gonna move on to the next project and it's gonna involve this decor piece. 
Um, my grandma came over a couple days ago and she brought this to me. She thought it would look so good in my house and I loved it. I put it right here on my entryway table. I loved that it added some like wood or rustic fill into the space, but it wasn't long before Savannah came and she was like, mommy, I love that piece and I want it so much. And if she wants it, I love sharing it with her. So here's her room and she was wanting some type of a wicker light in her room. We knew the chandelier needed to go kind of from the time we moved into the house it was just too small but you guys know how owning a home is there's just so many projects on the list and so many to do's um, so we decided we would try to turn this into a light chase ordered this light off Amazon it was like under nine bucks super super cheap so we're gonna combine these two pieces and make it a bedroom light We've done this in the past. I found some metal piece and we did a pendant over my kitchen sink at the last house. You can turn most things into a light for super cheap. So just keep that in mind when you're at like rod selling or flea marketing or whatever you do. Anything can almost be turned into a light and it just makes it super unique and special. Make out for the thrill of it. Mess around for the thrill of it. I went and looked up on Amazon and I'll have that light link down below in my description box, but it's $11 now, which I still think is a good deal because you can turn anything into a light. So all you need is something like that. It doesn't have to be black. You can get a white one. I know Ikea has these for super cheap. So if you're near an Ikea, I'm totally jealous. Go there and just pick a few up so when you need them, you have them on hand. Um, but the wicker ball itself, my grandma found at a flea market for $3. So I come from a long line of like bargain shoppers. Like my aunt has always decorated her home so well and it's been like rod sales and flea markets and she has high end pieces, but it's just all mixed in. So that's why I've always been able to decorate the way I do and can is just because they've taught me so much of how to have nice things but not to spend a whole lot on them. So this is a perfect example. So I think we paid around nine, but even if you paid 11 plus the $3, this was a $14 light. And I was looking at wicker lights and they were anywhere from like $75 to like 140 and we did it for $14. So I thought that was a steal. Now we are moving on to the next project and this one I am so <laughs> excited to share with you. So do not click off, stay until the very end because you want to see the final reveal of this. So when we found this house, when we were house searching, I was so excited for this little nook. So in all the homes we've owned, I've never had very many hallways, especially little nooks and crannies. And there's something just so sweet about like old homes, like just all the little, I don't know, nooks and crannies they have. I think they're so special and neat. But once we moved in, I never knew what to do with it because most furniture pieces would block this door. So I hung up a mirror. You guys have seen several mirrors hung here, several different photos. Well, I was searching Pinterest and I found a hallway or a concept that was similar. And I was like, that's it. That's what we're doing. So right here, I'm showing you everything we're gonna use. I'm gonna show you the picture that I found, like my inspiration, and then we are gonna get to work.
So when it comes to painting, I know it can be like overwhelming and you kind of keep putting it off. We even kept putting this project off because I'm like, oh, we have to like pull out the paint, we have to tape off. But it's one of those, once you get started, it's really not that hard at all. So it's about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes worth of work. It did take longer because we had to wait for it to dry before I could decorate the space. But an area like this does not take long at all. So definitely just tell yourself that the hardest part is getting started. It's going to make a huge impact on a very, very low budget and you will never regret it. So just keep that in mind if you're wanting to like level up some of your spaces. Paint is definitely the way to do it. Won't you sing for me till we fall asleep? The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me till we fall asleep? The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? I honestly think this is one of the coolest tools when it comes to painting. I talked about it a lot in my powder bathroom makeover if you want more details it's like not sponsored I talk about I've been using this since college and I just love it um, but when it comes to painting Chase doesn't mind like taping off and edging but he doesn't like rolling paint on so and I don't mind that part so we just tag team our projects he does the parts that he doesn't mind and then I do the others and it always works out we're like the opposite on stuff and so I could not sit there and tape that off. I mean, obviously I could if I wanted to, but since he doesn't mind it, he might as well do it. And then obviously he could roll paint on, but he doesn't love it and I don't mind it, so I do it. So just kind of tag team projects if you can. If not, you totally got a wall. You could do it all by yourself, I promise you. I have faith in you. Tape that thing off, roll that on, and you'll be good to go. But if you have a partner, team up and it will go by so much faster. Okay, so now he's tagging me in and it's my turn. And like I said, when you split up a project, do this with like a friend. You know, if you're not married or you're not dating, grab a friend and do this. Do one space in your house and then the next weekend you can do a space in their house. It's super fun. You'll have a good time. Have like snacks and drinks. You can turn on music. I had music blaring the whole time. You guys just can't hear it because of copyright reasons. <laughs> I can't share it. But it really is just a fun project to do with somebody then you're not doing it alone. I don't know. It's less scary if you have backup. So definitely make something fun out of it. Do it one evening. Currently on this day, it's raining. So we couldn't do much anyways. And you can see how quickly I'm rolling this. It is easy peasy. You guys got it. If you do it, tag me over on Instagram because I want to see your before and afters. Also, just a little tip, if you're doing this on carpet, definitely cover the floor. I'm doing this on tile, so it was something I could just wipe up with like a wet paper towel. But if you're doing it on like a carpet or a rug, definitely lay like an old towel down or an old sheet or plastic, whatever you have, but don't do what I'm doing. Here are the pieces I'm gonna be using to decorate this space. I have been on the hunt for like over a month for a bench for this space and just all the decor and I haven't been able to find anything. The day I was filming this, I walked into Home Goods and I was like, this is my last ditch effort. I have to get this painted today so I can get it filmed and edited. And I found everything I needed at Home Goods. I found the bench, the plant, the pot, and the pillow. So it was my lucky day. I want to show you everything here and I'm even showing you price tags. Um, the plant was a little pricey, but that's pretty much how much they are even when they're real. 
and I've learned with the fake ones at least you can't kill them. Um, this pot was only like $12.99 which I felt like that was a steal because it's a super heavy nice one. It's not like plastic. So I was impressed with that. Um, I'm about to show you the bench. The bench was more than I wanted to pay but like I said I have been looking forever and to find something that's not too long or too wide where it like blocks the doorway has been like impossible so when I found this I knew it was the winner. Um, so I paid like $80 for this but like I said there was nothing else out there so I was happy to get it. Now that I'm just waiting for paint to dry, which can be so hard, I'm not a patient person, especially with projects, I just wanna get them done. But with paint, you have to wait. Like I can't start decorating this wall. So I try to distract myself, and one of the best things I can do is start cleaning up. So at least once I decorate, everything's done, and I'm good to go. So I'm just gonna start cleaning up all the pieces, I'm gonna wash all the paint off, and just get all of this tidied up. So like I said, when it's time to decorate, that will be it. Just a little tip if you do buy this cool little brush it does have replacement so you can change out to this like brush head but if you want to save some money if you wash it out while the paint's still wet it can last quite a few times um, now I would be careful if you're painting a white wall after you painted black make sure it's super clean and dried out but it's actually super satisfying to clean I know that sounds crazy but there's something amazing about the way this brush feels I love like touching it but anyways I just wanted to share that tip so if you do buy it you can save money so you're not constantly replacing the brush head if you paint a lot like I do Try to also mention this tip in every painting video as well too, just in case you're new. Um, it's really smart to get that tape off before it dries. You just have less issue with like paint peeling off. So while the wall's still damp, pull off the tape, but also be careful and um, not get the paint on your clothes because the paint on the tape is still gonna be wet. But I promise you, if you do this now, you won't regret it. Sometimes if you wait till the paint's dry, it'll like peel up and then you have to go back and touch it up. Just get it off while it's still wet or damp. It's been raining so much here lately. Now our whole backyard's flooded. It wasn't in this video, but it just keeps raining nonstop. But this is why I say to keep supplies on hand. If we had to like go all the way into town and buy stuff, we wouldn't. But since we were stuck inside at home, we have the supplies, we were able just to knock this out. So if you have any future projects, go ahead and buy up for them. So when you have a day or free time, you can just do it. Then when you get the motivation, you don't have to talk yourself into running to the store. You just have it and you can get moving. Okay, another tip to share with you guys, anytime I'm finished with a project, if I have that paint anywhere else in my house, instead of just like wasting it, I go and try to touch up any areas that need to be touched up. So it could be a wall, it could be decor, anything that I've painted, I try to go ahead and use up if it's not enough to like pour back into the bin. So I'm gonna show you our container here in a second. 
I had used most of it painting the wall, but you can see there's still like excess around there. And there was a few spots on Chase's wall we needed to touch up. So then we didn't waste pouring anything out just to do that small touch up. I already had the leftovers. So it's just perfect. So definitely before you throw like a paintbrush away or before you wash it, go around your house and make sure you don't need it somewhere else first. Okay, so as you can see, the wall's not completely dry yet, but I mentioned earlier, I'm not a patient person and the area where the beer was hung was pretty much dry. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let Chase hang that up and then I'm gonna start decorating. I'm just not putting anything against the wall yet, but I just wanted to see what it was gonna look like. Um, and I did decide to go ahead and just clean the mirror just from us taking it on and off. We had like fingerprints on it, so I'm gonna get that cleaned first. And as you can see, I'm leaving the tags on everything. So I want this to set out a couple days before I take the tags off. Then if I decide like, okay, that piece isn't working, it's too big, it's too small, it's the wrong color, I just don't like it, whatever the reason is, I can take it back and return it and I don't have to lose any money. So definitely do not take those tags off for a couple days. I swear every video I mention this and somebody will write really mad at me that I didn't take the tags off. I do not take tags off until I'm 110% sure I'm keeping that piece. Um, this was a little bit later that I added the pillow, but here's the after. I love this little nook now. Like what used to be so like blah and bland and you didn't even notice that it went back a little bit. You can see it stands out, it has a purpose, it even looks wider. You would think with black it would be making areas look smaller and darker, but it's doing the opposite. And then here's my sweet girl I was filming and she came out and surprised me, so I went ahead and left that in for you guys. But here it is, I'm so excited with it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got motivated and inspired. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I post here twice a week and I'd love to see you here. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.